Hi, this is Walter with Violent Series. In this video, I will show you how to install the Violent Invert Mini Trigger and also how to change out the extra magnets in the trigger. Let's begin. Okay, inside the packaging, uh, you will find a Violent sticker, uh, complete installation instructions, a 1 16th Allen wrench for uh, trigger adjustment, and there's a little baggie here that contains uh, two different size magnets. These will be for magnetic uh, return. And of course you will have the Violent Trigger Invert Mini. Uh, it is made of Delrin. It is very lightweight, very responsive trigger. It has a nice radius on the front side of the trigger. Um, dual precision ball bearing pivot point. Uh, it does have the magnetic return, which I said is adjustable. And then has your post and pre-travel adjustment points and also your trigger activation adjustment. To insert the trigger, you will need a hammer and a punch. Um, you might also want a uh, soft work surface. Uh, this is a plastic table right here. Uh, maybe if you didn't have anything, you could use a piece of cardboard underneath so that you didn't scratch your mini up. Uh, before you get started, you want to make sure that the mini is degassed and that the power is off. Uh, safety first, always remember that. Um, to remove the existing stock trigger, you will have to take the trigger pin out and the trigger pin will have to be removed from the left side of the frame. Uh, the left side is considered if you were aiming and pointing the gun, it would be the left side. So to take it out and remove it from the left side, we'll have to use the punch on the right side. Carefully line the punch up in the center and lightly give it some taps. And there we've come right through there. And the pin has come out the left side. Um, is some knurling. I don't know if you can see it on the trigger pin. And this is this is the knurling that is uh, that locks the pin in uh, when it's hammered back in. So you have to remember that. And the stock trigger, of course, fell out here. And you can go ahead and set that aside. To install the violent trigger, very simple here. What we want to do is carefully insert this trigger in here. And we'll want to line up the bearing holes right here. I don't know if you can see that. The bearing holes with the hole in the frame. Try to get this in there. Once you've got that lined up, you can go ahead and insert your pin. Remember, inside this, insert the smooth side in first. And find that hole there. You shouldn't have to force it. It should just slide through. And it should go in enough that the pin is started into the right side. All I need to do now is put the punch back on here. The only reason for doing this is so that I don't mar up or uh, nick the body. And I want to go ahead and tap it so the trigger is seated back in there. And that's it. Installed and ready to go. Um, you can adjust, like I said, your post and pre-travel and your activation point. Okay, to adjust the magnetic tension here, um, what we need to do is the trigger will have to be removed from the frame. And get the trigger out there. And the magnets now. Inside this little bag. Two magnets, of course, they're connected together. Let me see if I can break them apart here. Uh, two different sizes, a shorter magnet and, uh, and a longer magnet. And the one in between those two sizes is the one that is pre-installed in the trigger right here. I don't know if you can see that. What you want to do is get a small Allen wrench. Uh, the .05 Allen wrench works the best. I don't know if you can see here. The magnet is on the back. On the face of the trigger, there's a very small hole. What you'll want to do is put that Allen wrench in there and carefully push that magnet out. And you can see it's stuck on the back of this, of this wrench right here. I can go ahead and pull that off and set it aside. All magnet installation is the same. I'm going to go ahead and just pick one out. 
and I'm going to install it. Before you can install it, you will have to find reverse polarity um, with the gun. And there's one easy way that I will recommend doing this. And there's an existing magnet right here in the frame that's used to repel the trigger back forward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this magnet down and let it attract. I don't know if you can see that. Let it attract to that magnet in the frame there. Now, to do reverse polarity, what's going to happen is I'll pull this apart and I will have to take the side that is stuck to the magnet in the frame and I will have to inside, insert that side in first into the trigger. So I'll carefully grab this magnet and pull it off there. This is the side right here that was stuck against the frame and I want to insert that first into the trigger here. Usually what I like to do, let's see if I can get one here. is take a slightly bigger Allen wrench. See that stuck to it right there. And I'm going to insert this in the hole. Uh, one thing about it is um, the hole is milled in on a, on a radius surface there. So you have to be careful to make sure it goes straight in with the hole. And I'll try to give you my best example of how that is right there. That's okay. That's pretty much lined up there. And I'll just want to oops, carefully want to press that in there. Get it lined up. That's it. And I can usually tell through the hole in the front that it's all the way in there. And that is the longer magnet that's installed on there. You might want to play around with it a little bit, check it out, see what's to your liking. Um, it is a precision drilled hole. Um, there is no super glue or anything needed. Um, you know, if you feel you want some on there so it doesn't come on, come out. That's that's up to you. Maybe you can go ahead and put that on, and that's about it. All right. I hope this helps. Thank you.